All right, so here's a quick and easy candidate for direct comparison, all right? We want to decide if this particular series converges or diverges. You might say, hey, I know, I know something about geometric series and when they converge. I also know something about P-series and when they converge. Here we seem to have the two of them sort of jumbled together. Well, what do you do? There's actually kind of two ways you could do this, right? You could say, well, here's one option. We could say... Um, since 1 over 3 to the n plus n squared is less than 1 over 3 to the n. Why? Why is that true? Well, whatever n is, right, n squared is a positive number. If you add a positive number on the denominator, right, you're making the denominator bigger. That makes the whole thing smaller, right? So this should be a larger number over here. Um, and we know that this converges, right? Well, we should probably say why. It's geometric with r equals one third, which is less than one. Then we know that. Our series converges by comparison. That's it. That's all you got to say, right? Um, but make sure you check the boxes. What are you comparing to? The thing that you're comparing to, why does it converge? It's geometric. Why do we know that the other one converges? Well, because we're using the comparison test, right? Um, we should also keep an eye on the requirement that terms be positive, but we've got that going for us as well. Okay. Um, now, of course, you could have gone in another direction with this. You could have also said, hey, uh, I don't need to compare to the geometric series. I could also compare. All right, this one gave us two options. We could have also said, hey, 3 to the n over n squared for the same reasoning is less than 1 over n squared. Right? And I know that this series, n going from 1 to infinity, 1 over n squared, that converges. Why? It's a p series. p is equal to 2, which is bigger than 1. Okay? We know that this series converges. Same as before. Right. Of course, if we, had, if we only had, say, n here rather than n squared, um, series is still going to converge, but then option 1 is the only option, right? We wouldn't have been able to go to option 2, right? Um, or, you know, if this was maybe like 1 half to the n in here or something where the geometric series failed, well, again, we could just then rely on the p-series. In this case, we had both options at our disposal. Um, pick either one.